With this microfabrication project, we're trying to figure out better ways to make microwells. And we want to make microwells to be able to form clusters of cells, maybe 50, 100 cells per cluster. These small clusters of cells have many potential applications. In the field of cancer biology, we want to model cancer micrometastases. These are small microtumors that happen in cancer patients. People are trying to study how those convert from small microtumors into large-scale tumors that can threaten the patient. And one way to produce these that we found is that we can create this conical well, this microwell depression, by firing a laser high energy into a single point. You can see in the laser cutter when it's flashing across, it's like a Gatling gun, little spouts of flame moving up and down. This is where the laser is just individually focusing on each point. It's blasting a bit of it out. With this method, we can create something that you can't achieve with uh, standard lithographic techniques. So normally you can make uh, square or cylindrical depressions, but we can make these conical depressions that help guide the cells into a single aggregate. When we seed cells on top of these, when we add cells to the wells, they just kind of seed inside and form an aggregate on top of themselves. So this is really interdisciplinary research that we've been really excited to take part in. So we're using um, some knowledge of electrical engineering to override the electronics of this laser cutter with open source hardware and software. Then we have some biomaterials work that we're doing to fabricate these silicone membranes and culture them directly with cells. So there's a lot of cell biology and bioengineering we're doing to fabricate these tissues, these micro cell aggregates at very high throughput and then figure out ways to characterize them. We've added different Z depth to it where we can get where different areas of the laser. So at the focal plane, you have a small hole and then you can get larger, larger diameter slash larger conical depressions by changing the Z axis. And this is how we've expanded on the technology. As well, we are mass producing them way faster than anyone else. We have, we're producing again, 50,000 microwells per, per hour. Normal technology, you just, it's called uh, the hanging drop method, where most labs, you pipette individual each aggregate on top of a lid, which is insanely, an insane amount of work. 